Every day, millions of us wake up and put on a mask, not just to protect against what's out there, but to hide who we really are. We smile, nod, and say yes to things that drain us, losing a piece of ourselves in the process. It's a silent struggle, fighting the urge to please everyone but ourselves. But what if I told you that over 2,000 years ago, a group of philosophers known as the Stoics found a powerful way to break free from this cycle. Today I'm going to share with you how embracing Stoic principles can transform the way you see yourself and how you interact with the world. This isn't just about saying no, it's about discovering a strength within that you might have forgotten was even there. Stay with me as we explore these timeless lessons and you might just find the key to a more authentic, fulfilling life. If you appreciate what we're doing here and want to support the channel, a simple free favor I'll ask from you is to hit the subscribe button. Also, stick with me throughout the entire video to get the most from these transformative insights. Let's get started. Stoicism teaches us to look inward to start our quest for personal freedom by understanding our deepest motivations. Often, we please others out of fear, fear of rejection, fear of being disliked. But Stoics like Epictetus encourage us to ask ourselves tough questions. Why do I feel the need to always say yes? Is it because I'm seeking approval or because I'm afraid of being alone? Understanding this can be your first step towards genuine self-liberation. Epictetus famously said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This is particularly relevant here. By acknowledging our fears and desires, we can begin to see them not as directives, but as options. We realize that our need to please isn't a command, but a choice. One that often comes from an old story we tell ourselves about our worth being tied to others' approval. Think about the last time you agreed to something you didn't want to do. What was driving that decision? Were you genuinely committed to the cause, or were you worried about how saying no would be perceived? Stoicism isn't about suppressing these feelings, but understanding them deeply so that they no longer control us. By doing so, we take the first crucial steps towards not just reacting to our environment, but actively shaping it in a way that aligns with our true selves. Stoic philosophy isn't about being passive, it's about respecting yourself. Marcus Aurelius taught us the importance of living with intention. He said, it's not the events themselves that disturb people, but their judgments about them. Applying this wisdom to setting boundaries means understanding that it's not selfish to say no. It's necessary for maintaining our integrity and peace of mind. By setting boundaries, you protect your space, time and peace of mind. This might sound tough, especially if you're used to saying yes to keep the peace or avoid conflict. But think about it this way. When you set boundaries, you're not just keeping others at bay, you're also inviting them to understand and respect your values. It's about communicating clearly what you will and won't accept, which actually leads to healthier and more respectful relationships. Start small with this. The next time someone asks you for a favor, take a moment to consider if it aligns with your values and current priorities. If it doesn't, it's okay to say, I really can't commit to this right now. You're not rejecting the person, you're simply respecting your limits. Remember, setting boundaries is an ongoing process. Each time you uphold your boundaries, you reinforce your sense of self-worth and earn respect from others for your clarity and consistency. Setting clear boundaries is not about building walls. It's about bridging understanding you're defining where your limits are, and in doing so, you give yourself the freedom to interact with others authentically. It's about respecting and loving yourself enough to say, this is who I am, and this is what I need to stay healthy and happy.
This might sound counterintuitive, but putting yourself first is not selfish. It's essential. Stoicism teaches us the importance of self-care, not as a luxury, but as a necessity. Seneca often discussed the value of focusing on oneself in a world that constantly pulls us in different directions. He believed that caring for oneself isn't just about personal well-being, it's about preparing ourselves to be of better service to others. Think of it this way. Just like in an airplane emergency, you're instructed to put on your own oxygen mask before helping others. If you're not taken care of, you can't effectively care for anyone else. The same goes for life. If you're running on empty, constantly putting others' needs above your own, you're not living your fullest life. You're merely surviving. So, how do you start prioritizing your needs? Begin by identifying what truly matters to you. What brings you joy, energy, and peace? Is it spending time alone, diving into books, exploring nature, or perhaps something as simple as a daily workout? Whatever it is, make time for these activities. They recharge your batteries and enable you to show up as your best self in other areas of life. Prioritizing your needs also means learning to say no to things that drain you. It's about recognizing that every time you say yes to something that doesn't align with your values, you're actually saying no to something that does. This doesn't mean you don't care about others, but rather that you are making a conscious choice to ensure your actions reflect your priorities. Remember, prioritizing your needs isn't selfish. It's about taking control of your life. It's about being aware of your values, goals and limits, and making decisions accordingly. This doesn't mean you ignore the needs of others. It means you balance them with your own, which is a hallmark of living a stoic life. This balance helps you not only survive, but thrive, making you more effective and compassionate in your interactions with others. Have you ever asked yourself what really matters to you? Stoicism encourages us to live according to our principles. When you're clear on your values, you're less likely to sway under pressure to please others. This clarity helps you make decisions that align with your true self, not just to satisfy someone else's expectations. Identifying your values is like drawing a map of your inner landscape. The Stoics, particularly Epictetus, emphasized the importance of knowing oneself thoroughly. He advised that understanding our values is not just about knowing what we like, but understanding what we stand for, what drives us, and what we are willing to stand up for, even when it's inconvenient. This deep self-knowledge is the armor that protects us against the external pressures of the world. So how do we begin this journey of discovery? It starts with introspection. Take some time to reflect on moments when you felt truly satisfied. What were you doing? Who were you with? What values were being honored in those moments? These reflections can reveal patterns about what is genuinely important to you, such as honesty, compassion, creativity, or independence. Recognizing your values also means you become more intentional about how you spend your time and energy. For instance, if one of your core values is family, you might choose to prioritize family gatherings and make decisions that enhance these relationships. Or if creativity fuels you, you might carve out time each week to engage in creative pursuits, regardless of how busy life gets. Living in alignment with your values also involves making tough choices, sometimes saying no to lucrative opportunities if they don't align with your ethical beliefs. This is where stoic wisdom really shines. It teaches us that true happiness isn't derived from external achievements or accolades, but from living a life in accordance with our true nature. Knowing and honoring your values not only shapes your actions, but also guides you through life's ups and downs. It helps you navigate complex situations and make choices that might not be the easiest, but will be the most fulfilling. Remember, as Seneca said, 
It's not because things are difficult that we do not dare, it's because we do not dare that they are difficult. Stoics believe in acting with intention. When someone asks for something, it's not just an opportunity to help, it's also a moment to practice Stoic discernment. Marcus Aurelius often spoke about the importance of acting according to one's principles, not just impulses. This is crucial when we face requests from others. When you receive a request, take a moment to pause and consider it carefully. Ask yourself, is this request aligned with my values? Is this something that I should invest my time and energy in? Will it benefit both parties, or am I simply being taken advantage of? This isn't about being cynical, but about being wise and prudent with your resources, something the Stoics held in high regard. Assessing requests helps you maintain control over your life, free from external pressures. It allows you to commit to things that are truly meaningful and beneficial to your growth. This careful evaluation ensures that you're not just reacting to every demand, but responding in a way that aligns with your deeper goals and values. Let's consider a practical example. A friend asks for help moving over the weekend, but you have planned that time for a long overdue personal project. Stoicism would advise you to weigh the request against your personal commitments. If helping your friend would mean sacrificing something important to you without a compelling reason, it might be wise to politely decline. This decision process isn't just about saying no, it's about respecting your own needs and boundaries. Moreover, assessing requests isn't about being selfish, it's about being strategic. It's knowing that saying yes to everything isn't sustainable or healthy. Remember, Every yes is a no to something else. By being selective, you ensure that your yes has more power and meaning. You preserve your energy for the things that truly matter, which in turn makes you more effective and present in the activities you do choose. Stoicism teaches us to look not just at the immediate benefits, but at the long-term implications of our actions. So next time you're faced with a request, Take a breath and think it through with a stoic mindset. This careful consideration will not only help you live more authentically, but also build relationships that are based on mutual respect and understanding, not just on one-sided sacrifices. Understand that conflict isn't a disaster, it's a part of life. Stoics view obstacles as opportunities to grow. If saying no leads to conflict, it's a chance to stand firm in your values. Remember, not every battle is worth your energy, but avoiding conflict altogether means you might be sacrificing your own needs. Epictetus taught us that it's not external events that disturb us, but the way we interpret them. Conflict is often seen as negative, but in Stoicism, it's considered a natural part of human interaction, a reflection of differing values and perspectives. When you approach conflict through a Stoic lens, you see it not as a personal attack, but as a challenge to be navigated with reason and integrity, handling conflict. Stoically means maintaining your composure and focusing on what you can control. You can't control another person's reactions or decisions, but you can control your response. When you respond with calmness and clarity, you not only uphold your dignity, but also set the stage for more constructive interactions. This can transform potentially volatile situations into moments of learning and growth. Moreover, Stoicism encourages us to reflect on our role in conflicts. Are we contributing to the tension? Are we communicating our needs and boundaries clearly? Sometimes the fear of conflict is actually a fear of standing up for ourselves. By facing these situations with courage and honesty, we learn more about ourselves and evolve into more resilient individuals. It's also important to remember that conflict can serve as a litmus test for our relationships. 
those that withstand honest discussions and respectful disagreements are often the most durable and meaningful. Conversely, relationships that falter under the weight of conflict might lack the depth we initially perceived. This realization, while tough, is invaluable as it guides us towards more fulfilling connections. This can be tough, but remember, every no to someone else can be a yes to yourself. Epictetus once said, We are disturbed not by what happens to us, but by our view of it. Change your view on saying no. See it as an affirmation of your values. Learning to say no is an essential skill that every Stoic strives to master. It is not about being unkind or selfish, Rather, it is about recognizing and honoring your own limits and priorities. When you say no, you are effectively managing your resources, your time, energy and attention, ensuring that they are spent on activities that truly align with your values and contribute to your growth. But why is saying no so powerful? Firstly, it allows you to regain control over your life, Instead of being swayed by every request or invitation, you choose which commitments are worth your effort. This selective engagement is not only practical, but also deeply liberating. You start to feel less stretched and more focused, which enhances your ability to perform well in your chosen activities. Moreover, saying no can also strengthen your relationships. It might seem counterintuitive, but by setting clear boundaries, you create a healthier dynamic where your needs and preferences are openly acknowledged. This transparency builds trust and respect as it clarifies what others can expect from you. It also teaches people around you that your time and energy are valuable, leading them to be more considerate when making requests. Of course, learning to say no requires practice and often a bit of courage. It involves overcoming the fear of disappointing others or facing their disapproval. But here's where Stoic wisdom comes in handy. Remember, your primary duty is to yourself and your own well-being. Marcus Aurelius wrote, If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Apply this to your decisions. If agreeing to something feels wrong or untrue to who you are, then it is right and necessary to decline. When we decide to say no, it's important to be straightforward and honest. Marcus Aurelius once wrote, If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. This quote encourages us to be direct with others and ourselves when saying no, without crafting elaborate excuses. By not making excuses, you challenge yourself to confront the real reasons behind your decisions. It's about facing the truth of your situation and responding in the most genuine way possible. This approach not only helps you live true to your stoic values, but also maintains your self-respect and confidence. When you're straightforward, people understand that your decisions are thoughtful and based on genuine constraints or principles, not whims or fleeting feelings. Once you start making excuses, you give the other person an opportunity to question or dismantle your reasons. This can lead to further pressure and discomfort. On the other hand, when you are straightforward, you send a clear message that your decisions are deliberate and based on solid grounds. This tends to be respected more and can even enhance your relationships as it builds an understanding of mutual respect and honesty. Avoiding excuses also simplifies your life. You no longer have to keep track of what you said to whom, nor do you have to fabricate reasons for your choices. This simplicity aligns perfectly with the stoic pursuit of an unencumbered straightforward life where actions and words are consistent with inner values. This is a significant step towards stopping the excessive effort to satisfy others, a truth that Stoic philosophy clearly emphasizes. Marcus Aurelius once wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. 
Realize this and you will find strength. This wisdom is particularly relevant when we consider our human tendency to seek approval and validation from others. Accepting that you can't please everyone frees you from a massive burden. It allows you to live more authentically, making choices based on what's right for you, not based on how others might react. Imagine the relief and freedom that come from understanding that it's impossible to meet everyone's expectations. You can stop stretching yourself thin and start focusing on what truly matters to you. This acceptance doesn't mean you disregard the feelings or needs of others. It simply means you stop letting the fear of disapproval control your life. Every day we encounter diverse opinions and preferences. Trying to accommodate all of them is not only exhausting, but also impossible. The sooner we accept this, the sooner we can begin to live a life that's aligned with our true selves. Furthermore, when you embrace the fact that not everyone will agree with or support your decisions, you become more resilient. You start to value the approval of the right people, the ones who truly understand and support your journey. This selective consideration is not about elitism, it's about efficiency and emotional sustainability in our social interactions. Stoicism teaches use to focus on our own actions and attitudes rather than external approval. Seneca said, If you really want to escape the things that harass you, what you're needing is not to be in a different place, but to be a different person. This transformation involves developing an inner fortitude that doesn't waver with public opinion. Thank you for joining me on this journey today. Remember, living true to your stoic principles isn't about achieving perfection, but about striving for personal authenticity and inner peace. Embrace the wisdom of the stoics and step into a life defined not by the approval of others, but by your own deep values. If you're interested in continuing this exploration of Stoic wisdom, check out one of the suggested videos on the screen. Thank you for being a part of the Stoic Journal. Keep seeking your truth, and I'll see you in the next video.